Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Well, you may have seen my video from yesterday about my first sale on Tostadora. And as I explained in that video, I created a few pixel designs, NFT designs, non-fungible token designs. And um, these have been selling quite well for me. So a few weeks ago I created a video telling you about a hot niche, which is the NFT niche in my opinion. If you look at Google Trends, NFTs, um, yeah, non-fungible tokens, that just goes up like like nothing, you know, in terms of interest. So this is really um, one of the next big trends. We're already in it, but there haven't really been a lot of, you know, people creating designs. And I'll show you what I mean. I mean, I'm now in, on Redbubble. I typed in NFT, which is, yeah, the shortcut for non-fungible token. There are only 2,847 results. Now you could say that is a lot, but it actually isn't because NFT, this is the broad niche, you know, this is like cat, this is like cryptocurrency. So this is not even a sub niche. And for a, you know, something which is really going up in Google Trends, 2,847 is not a lot, I think. And if you push out, you know, a lot of designs, a lot of good designs, you will make it to one of the first pages. Um, so I just want to show you what I mean with in terms of pixel design. So when you talk about NFTs, a lot of people, you know, there are a lot of these, um, yeah, pixel designs, as you can see here in the middle. And if we scroll down further, I'm sure we'll find um, some more. And this is what I've done with some of my designs and they are selling quite well. So this one here as well, the NFT crypto art sticker, for example. Now this one as well here, NFT with a pixel, um, yeah, a pixel, whatever that is, a pixel um, graphic. Then if we scroll down further, yeah, there's this, um, this is my NFT shirt in a pixel font. Big NFT energy is another pixel design, pixel font. And there's another one here, NFT, also here, non-fungible dad. And as you can see, this guy, everyone B, he's made it to the first page with a lot of designs. And he's got a lot of these um, pixel designs apparently. Now, and that is what I have done actually with some of my um, designs. So I've taken my best-selling designs. I've just taken the graphic um, and I have created a pixel design out of them. And I haven't really changed anything besides the um, pixel effect. And I have added, um, I've replaced the font with a pixel font. So I've li basically let the text as it is. You know, on some of them I, create, I added um, the word NFT in the text. And I'm going to show you how, how to do that. Now, one, one good way of doing it and how I have done it is using Canva. And you can do this in Canva for free, but bear in mind, if you create a Canva account and you don't have the pro version, by the way, the pro version isn't expensive, especially considering what Canva offer. Uh, but if you don't have the pro version, you cannot download images, graphics, or designs with a transparent background. So you would have to go into another tool to manually remove the background. However, you know, I think it's like $10 a month or something. I don't know exactly what the price is, but it's really not a lot. And if you use it uh, genuinely to create designs in, you know, for print on demand, you will see a payback fairly quickly. Now, what I would like to do, I will usually create a design first, which is 4,500 by 5,400. Then I normally change the background to a dark color, normally like black. What I would then do, if I want to do this, create a pixel design, I will, Normally I would upload, you know, my best selling designs into Canva. Um, and I'm just gonna show you an example here. Um, let's see. So obviously you can, you can upload your designs into Canva and, um, or you can first of all create them, then you download them and you can re-upload them. So you actually have only the PNG file uploaded. And um, yeah, basically scrolling here through some of the designs but uh, let's see which one might work quite well. So anyway, let's just choose an example here. For example, this one, which uh, I downloaded from, or both of these is basically a combination of graphics that are downloaded from the website um, allsunsets.com. And all of these designs anyway, they, they sell quite well for me. Uh, I've made most of my sales either from simple text-based designs or from images and graphics from um, all sunsets or allamericangraphics.com and you find the link in the description. Um, it's not expensive. You can get thousands of um, graphics for I think $20 a year, which is not a lot. Now, 
just assuming you do this, yeah, you, you re-upload your, your, one of your best-selling designs maybe. Um, and then here in Canva, what you can do, you can click actually on the image. And then you can click on effects up here. And what it does, it gives you certain effects that you can apply. I think in another video, I showed you the um, liquify effect, which basically, if you have a text-based design, it can um, yeah, basically introduce like a wave pattern. But today I'd like to show you the pixelate effect. And if you have uh, click on pixelate, you get all of these different pixel styles here. And the first one is just called pixel. The second one is called micro, which I like a lot. Then you get grain. This is called palette. Then you get polar, shatter, dots. Dots is something quite unique as well, quite good. And then matrix, which I also like. But I think for the NFT designs, the micro one works quite well. And what you can do if you double click on this, you um, can change the number of pixels horizontally and vertically. So this is just one pixel up to 200 pixels. So the higher you go in terms of number of pixels, the higher is the resolution, but you don't necessarily want a high resolution. So not in, you know, on these types of um, images and designs. So I normally, you know, would like to go through something like 120, 120, and uh, or maybe go a little bit higher depending on how well you know you want somebody to actually recognize what 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 this is because the higher the resolution you know that the more you can actually see right so click apply and then it's applied perfect so this is the first step so that way you could um basically recreate all of your designs you don't need new ideas you just use the design that you already have and what you can then do, what I would normally do on my designs, I will add a text and we click on um, add a heading. And what we could do is, you know, something like all I need is, and just change the color. And this is another thing that I like on Canva that you can, it picks uh, the, the colors from the images. So it doesn't need to really try to manually match the colors it already takes the color of the image and you can just select it straight away. So to make basically the font the same color. And what we could do is all I need is, we could just say something like NFTs and whatever, 90s music, for example, yeah? 90s music. Now this is just an example and this doesn't look good yet, but what we do to make it really match is this font, I would select the pixel font and you can get this selection of pixel fonts here on Canva and if you want to find them, you can just type in pixel and it will give you um, already a lot of these designs which are sort of in a pixel style. So I would normally, I normally like the VT3 to 3, also this, um, the Christic is quite cool. There's also another one which is called um, 9 by 5 you know, there, there are various ones, so you can try them all. FS Gravity, which is not bad actually, it's quite condensed, which I like. Let's just try this, and I'll make it a bit larger. Then I add the curve effect, and just try to make it match the, um, the background image, right? I mean, you can also change the distance between the letters, which sometimes works quite well, especially if you apply the curve effect. Now this is probably a bit too, too far to the edges of the graphic. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't want to make it perfect now. I just want to get you to see how this works. And then down here as well, FS gravity, FS gravity, make it a bit larger. And then you will have a NFT design created out of your best selling designs. Maybe move that up a little bit, you know. You can play around obviously with it. And um, some of these have quite have sold quite well for me. And I think this pixel effect, it, it seems to be quite trendy at the moment. So I've seen some of them selling quite well actually. Um, and what you can then do when, when you say, okay, this design is now finished, you just click on um, download, transparent background if you're a pro subscriber. Um, and then download. So if you're if you want to um, yeah sign up for Canva or if you are interested just creating a free account, you can use a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, um, but you know if you if you use it, I'd appreciate it because then you you would um, support this channel here. 
And overall, I'm really happy with, <clears throat> with all of these effects. I mean, also the other effects that they offer um, because the text effects are different from the actual image effect. So you have two different types of effects in Canva and you can actually do quite a lot with Canva. It's so user-friendly, I really like it. I create most of my designs with Canva. I also use Vexels, for example. I don't use Place It that, <clears throat> I don't use Place It that much anymore. Um, don't really know why, but I, I really like the um, how user-friendly Canva and Vexels are, and also the um, yeah, but the, the possibilities they offer. Because you know you wouldn't be able to do this, for example, in Place It. Uh, I mean, Place It they have their strengths as well, but in terms of doing something like that. I think Canva is definitely quite strong. Now, this is really everything for today. If you like this video, then please um, yeah, smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.